Hey guys, and welcome back to another HZ Studios video. Today, we have a special video for you guys comparing three of the most popular video recording pieces of software. Morella's Action, Bandicam, and Open Broadcast Software, also known as OBS. So, today we'll be going over the video qualifications, the video specifications of all three of these programs, the audio specs of all these programs. In the description below, I have two more in-depth reviews of the two programs I use more, Action and Bandicam. Now, don't just say because I only use those two that OBS is not good. That is what we will be looking at throughout this video. We're going to do a nice comparison of all three. So, I hope you guys enjoy. So first, let's go ahead and look at Bandicam. Now, just letting you guys know, I do have a more in-depth review of Bandicam, the best settings. I have that link in the description below, so if you guys want to take a more in-depth look at Bandicam, I will leave that in the description. Be sure to go check out that video. But let's go over the video capabilities of Bandicam. First, the cost, the most important thing, Bandicam does cost $40. It's really all you need. I found, I've looked at the professional option for Bandicam and it really is not worth it. $40 is the main per, uh, home use version that you'll need for all your recordings. There is a free trial version, but you can only record up to 10 minutes and there is a quite large Bandicam watermark over the entire video. So if you're gonna go record with Bandicam, you, the real thing is you have to buy it because the, with uh, out buying it, you're gonna have that giant watermark over it, basically ruining your video, and you can only go up to 10 minutes. Now, it does have screen capture, as game capture. I've uh, fiddled around with the HDMI for things such as connecting your Xbox or connecting a face cam. And it is a little wonky, it is a little uh, somewhat confusing on how to set them up. So Bandicam is really just for that screen and game capture can record up to 4K and 60 FPS, depending, of course, if your computer can handle it. So, just to preface what you guys are about to see, if you are not familiar with the game Raft, it is a single-player game where, of course, you are on a raft, and it's a sort of sandbox survival-style game. It's a nice, not-too-graphic-intensive game that I uh, worked actually pretty well as a benchmark for all three of these programs. So, right now, I'm going to put up the Bandicam recording of Raft. So well, I'll let you guys take a look at that and I'll come back and point some things out. So as you guys can see right here, it does start to get a little choppy with the Bandicam game capture. The quality does look pretty good but as you can see, it is pretty intensive on your CPU, and I don't have the best CPU, so I was struggling a little bit to record this, so let's check out the next one. So next we have the Bandicam screen capture. Again, the CPU is struggling a little bit with Bandicam recording. Quality is very slightly lowered if you guys take a look at this video compared to the last one, but overall is pretty much the same as the game capture. Okay, so overall, Bandicam, Game Capture, and Window Capture is pretty good. You do need a pretty beefy computer to actually record Bandicam on a pretty graphic-intensive game like Raft. A little bit of lag while you're record in the late recording, but not during the actual gameplay, so it's pretty decent. Next, we are going to look at OBS. So, looking at the video of OBS, this one actually lagged a little bit more than Bandicam in the game capture and window capture. They were identical, so I'm just showing you the game capture. They are very identical, but as you can see, the video is very choppy, and OBS clearly is the most graphic and consuming program out of all three. Overall, pretty decent video, but very laggy. And finally, we are going to take a look at the recordings from Marilla's action. So looking at the game capture of Marilla's action, there's very little lag. I ran this at 1080p 
30 FPS just like all the other videos and this one was by far the smoothest, by far the less laggy, very very few lag spikes at all. Next here we have the window capture for Marilla's action, also as you can see very very smooth. This actually has no lag spikes whatsoever, unlike Bandicam, unlike OBS, extremely smooth, no hiccups whatsoever and really the same 1080p quality as all the others. I really like Morales Action Window Capture. Next, we will be going over the audio capabilities of these programs. I have some audio recordings from Bandicam and Morales Action. Unfortunately, OBS does not separately record audio, so we'll go ahead and go over those two programs. So, for the audio, first we are going to look at Bandicam. Now, I know it says on the screen, no separate audio recording, but upon further inspection, the, there is a way to get separate audio, but within Bandicam, when you record a video, you can simply hit a mark, a checkbox, that says create separate audio file. So when you record a video with Bandicam, be it game or window capture, it will create a separate file that stores your audio. Uh, along with the audio normally attached to your video file. So Bandicam, the bitrate does go up to 192 kilobytes per second and the frequency up to 48,000. Honestly, if you want to look past these numbers, I could understand that. It is really all up to how it sounds within your video. If Bandicam sounds better on your computer, then go for it. If Morel's Action does, then go ahead and use Morel's Action. But for this test, I simply did the standard HZ Studios in introduction. So let's go ahead and listen to Bandicam. Hey guys, and welcome back to another HZ Studios tutorial. Now that you've listened to the Bandicam version, now let's listen to the Morales Action version and we'll come back and compare the two. Hey guys, and welcome back to another HZ Studios tutorial. And comparing these two, if you listen back to them real quick, they are essentially identical. I am using a Blue Yeti microphone on the exact same settings for both audio tests and reviewing both of them, they are essentially identical. So on the value of audio recordings, action seems to get the edge due to the fact that you can separately record audio without having to use a video at all. So, now let us go to the final comparisons. So, looking at all the programs, OBS, Bandicam, Amaryllis Action, we have reviewed the video components, we have reviewed the audio components, all the extra special things each program offers. One thing to remember is that I do have advanced in-depth looks at Amaryllis Action and Bandicam in the description. So, the final decision, overall, I believe, now this is my opinion, that Morales Action is the superior recording program. It is less CPU intensive, it has separate audio and video functions for recording, you can, the interface is extremely easy to use, I'll put up a picture of that. So overall, my opinion is, if you are going to get a program, you might as well get Morel's Action. It's extremely versatile and is overall the best bang for the buck. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more comparison videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.